Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to start looking at the information and communication technology on um, the 0417 paper 3. Um, we're going to look at the October November 2017. Okay, so um, we'll do a section on data analysis and in consequent videos we'll go to um, web authoring. Okay, so let's go straight into what we're supposed to do today. So task one evidence document so open the file 173 evidence dot rtf okay make sure that your name center number and candidate number will appear on every page of your evidence document by placing these in the header okay so save this as a web process document in your work area with file name 13 um, 173 evidence followed by your candidate number for example 173 evidence 9999 okay so you need your evidence document during the examination to enter answers to questions as well as um, place screenshots uh, when you're required okay so let's go ahead and um, work on this document so the document is this one okay so 173 um, evidence of RTF you're going to open it uh, with word and then um, you're going to edit its file name and save it as a word document uh, but don't forget to change also um, the um, to add the header bearing your details in there okay so um so insert you're inserting um a header okay so you're going to go for blank three column and you're going to type your details here so check if you've been asked to provide these details in a specific location so um we just told to put it in the header there's actually no need of left alignment or right alignment for now so I'm just going to use up all the place orders ZM 556 and then 0001 okay then we're going to save this document as we're going to save it in the same folder so save it in current folder as a word document but you're going to change its file name um, so the file name will be changed to 173 evidence followed by your candidate number okay so just add your candidate number at the end all right Let's click on um, accept okay so that should be fine okay so the next thing that we are supposed to do let's go back to the question paper so the next thing that you're supposed to do is task two and you look at um, the spreadsheet so you work for the uh, Cosmel uh, tourist boat who use a spreadsheet to analyze data about cruise ship passenger passengers in Caribbean okay in the Caribbean so use the most efficient methods um, in your work okay so the first one step one says open and examine the files 173 cruise.csv and 173 location.csv in a spreadsheet package okay so let's open these two CSV files so cruise and location and open these files um, in a spreadsheet okay also, so whilst the files are, are opening, okay, there you go. So we're told to open and examine the files. So um, what I'm going to do is just, um, okay, so select this and um, make sure that the borders, I mean, the text is visible throughout. And you're just supposed to examine the, these files, okay. So when you examine files, um, but before I say that, I'll, I'll let me just check first of all. Okay, so we just need to add some details. So let's talk about this one first of all. Um, this tell you to examine the files. Okay, so when you examine um, CSV files, um, you are looking out for um, the data, uh, the data types um, in each column. You are also looking at for possibility of importing some um, data from one spreadsheet, especially if you are, you, are, you are told to examine two or more spreadsheets. You are looking for possibilities of importing some data from one spreadsheet 
to the other. In this case, you may look up um, um, some data from another um, another table of some kind. So you are trying to see um, um, the way the data is arranged, whether it's arranged in a vertical way, whether it's uh, or it's arranged in a horizontal way, so that you decide between uh, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP um, um, as your functions to look up the data. Okay. So in our case, we examine this data. We have majority of the data being um, 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 arranged in a horizontal way, and how I mean rather in a vertical way. And how you can tell is that you have more uh, rows than columns. Okay, so going down, you have more data than going across. So you see that this file is actually um, vertical. The same thing with this one. This one is vertical. So if we're to look up um, some value or some information from any of these two files, then we're going to use um, uh, VLOOKUP because the data is arranged um, vertically. Okay. So with that said, let's go straight into the question. So the question is step number, um, rather point number two says save the file. Um, the 17 cruise 173 cruise as a spreadsheet uh, with the file name cruise underscore and your your country number and um, the example that is given is that it's supposed to be cruise underscore zero 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 one so go ahead and save um, the cruise file which is this one to go to file save us but you're saving it as a spreadsheet okay so change to Excel workbook and um, supposed to be cruise and provide your candidate number so underscore zero 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 one it is also important that you you type the name as it is if it's if it's capital you put capital if it is small letter you put small letter okay it's very important so cruise um underscore then the candidate number and save it okay good next step in your cruise spreadsheet place the text cruise ship analysis Okay, left aligned in the header of the page and place your name, center number, and cut number on the right, uh, on right aligned, uh, if you want, in the header as well. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this uh, for the sake of time and um, go to um, the spreadsheet. So I'm going to insert um, a header. So in the header, I'm going to paste this one. And right aligned, I'm going to put the candidate number Chikasa Evans ZM 556 0001. Okay, so check that the information that you've entered is accurate. Okay, so center number your name, center number, and candidate number right aligned, so that's fine. And this one is supposed to be left aligned, that's equally fine. Okay, step next um, point is um, place the text last edited on so I'm just going to copy this again um, followed by today's date which is supposed to be automated then the text at and then the time which is also automated and must be center aligned in the footer of the page okay so what this means is that um, you type the text last edited on then leave some space and then put the date so insert a date so it will probably be, for example, today is the 22nd of um, of um, of January. So it will be last ed edited on um, 22nd uh, January 2018 at, and then you follow the time. So the time is, for example, 9.52. So you say at 9.52. Okay. So this is supposed to be put in the center of um, the footer. So insert again. Um, this time around you're going to insert footer so go to footer and in the center of the footer you're going to type this text last edited on leave space and then select the date okay so just put current date okay and then add space and then current time okay and then just click anywhere else and you see it says last edited on 22 um, 0, 01 um, 18 at maybe 952 okay so this date is automated it will be updating itself every time okay uh, currently it's at 53 but when we save this document um, the date at the time will also change and if we open it tomorrow the date will change okay so next step we're going to start looking at step number two now. Step two says merge the cells E2 to F2 
and format um, this merge cell okay so let's just merge the cell first of all uh, let's go step by step okay so merge the cells e2 to um, to f2 okay so e2 to f2 okay so e2 um, is um, this one so we merge it with f2 okay so just verify that you have the correct cells for merging so merge the cells e2 to f2 okay so e2 f2 merge them okay leave them as they are um, then go back here it says format this cell um, this um, uh, merge cell and cell g2 so that the text is center aligned and it is um, it is a black 16 point um, sans serif font okay so first of all the cell uh, that we've just made together with cell g2 the text is supposed to be center aligned it's supposed to be a black text with 16 point sans serif font okay so let's go ahead and do just that so select g2 as well the text is supposed to be um, size 16 and um, it's supposed to be black it is black um, it's supposed to be center aligned okay it is center aligned and it's supposed to be a sans serif font so calibri is is perfect sans serif font or Arial, um you can use the sans serif font so just counter check that you've done all of this so the merge cell is supposed to be uh, the text is supposed to be center aligned then it's supposed to be a black text and it's supposed to be 16 point uh, a sans serif font and we just done that okay so the next one is step number three merge the cells h1 a1 to h1 and format this cell so that the text is right aligned with the text with a red te uh, red text uh, 20 uh, point sans serif font okay and it should have a pale blue um, background color okay so let's merge first of all the cell and make it right aligned so a1 to h1 counter check that you've se selected the uh, correct range so it's a1 to h1 okay so we merge and make it right aligned okay and then uh, font color uh, foreground is supposed to be red supposed to be 20 point and sans serif font okay so uh, for merging so you need to um, to merge um, the the cells so just merge them then right aligned and then it's supposed to be 20 point it's supposed to be red foreground and it's supposed to be um, a sans serif font so calibre is fine but it's supposed to be a pale blue background so let's just counter check that so it's supposed to be um, red 20 sans serif font and it has a pale blue background color okay so go ahead and change the background color um, change it to pale blue so pale blue could be this one would be good okay so next we are going to um, okay so we are done with um, step number three okay so I'm gonna continue with step number four in the next video so that these videos are not too long um, and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to like to share and comment on this video And I'll see you just shortly